How you guys doing today? Welcome to my third vlog, which is going to be about video games. These are my friends, uh, LJ and Oliver. Actually, and on YouTube, I go by Deshaun. <laughs> it's LJ. Okay, character is switching to LJ. No, you could be Deshaun. No, no I'm calling you Deshaun from now on. It's too late. Okay, anyways. Deshaun um, Jackson. <laughs> I feel like that's taken. <laughs> it is. <laughs> By me. <laughs> so, I met these guys um, playing video games, so I thought it'd be best to have them on this video with me talking about video games because we play video games a lot. LJ, he plays a bunch of random games and he's, he's kind of different in his mentality in a good way. In a good way. Sorry, friends with him. Oliver, he just enjoys just playing video games non-stop until he's like completely immersed and doesn't care about the outside world. So um, I think it'd be best if we talked about it now. What is, what is your most memorable moment playing video games? Memorable. Mm -hmm. uh, memory is a tricky thing sometimes. I mean, I remember the first time I, I caught a, what was that? YouTube in the wild? Because no, he's wow. like, Game shark. Oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say. I had like, a faster ball, so it was super easy. Okay. There was something very special about it because it's like the first time I had altered a video game to be my bitch. Like, <laughs> and you I remember the old Game Shark where it was that black cartridge for the N64, and you put the actual real cartridge on top. I have that button on it. Yeah. To turn it on or off. To turn it on or off, or for Mario specifically, to get a hundred coins. <laughs> For me, it would be, be learning your environment, learning, listening to sounds, listening to like if something weird is happening, you know, maybe if you, if an enemy hears you, a little exclamation, exclamation point pointing in the head. Ah, yeah. Metal Gear. Yeah. Okay, you know, that was a, that's a good game. Yeah. And it's crazy because that's a game that that's successful off of its creativity. Yeah, I think the best one would be Snake Eater because from there you learn survivability, you learn how to you know, kill things, how to use them as like potions or rations or how to fix them as bones. Oh, like animals. My most memorable um, moment in video game history is when I first got my first nuke in Call of um, Duty 4. Because it was uncontrolled, my I just lost control of my body. Like I was like, as I'm going, I'm standing up, and then I, there's this gun called the, the Famas, where it, you know it's going. And I made this song every time I'm shooting it. Like when I would play, you know, online, I would be like Famas, Fam. I know I'm mispronouncing it, but whatever. I'd be like Famas, 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 shooting it up, and I would just go. But then like I got on like 12 kill streak. Now you need 24 to get the nuclear bomb in a row without dying. And I just kept finding this guy and killing him that had ammo for the FAMAS so I could keep going. And I would just, the, as I would sing this song, the song would get a lot more intense. I'd be like, FAMAS, 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 and I started like cussing. And I got him like, yeah! and I like dropped the controller and I run. And be like, Sir! And it's like one in the morning and like my mom's gonna yell at me for like being so loud, but dude, I was so excited. Let's see, there's this really funny moment um, that was also very strange that happens in uh, Saints Row 3. Um, have you guys played Saints Row? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like the Grand Theft Auto style game. And in the story, there's like this part where you're chasing these enemies and they're and, and it's a rickshaw, but they're like BDSM guys. So they're like being like tortured as they're running <laughs> these, these rickshaws and they, they were loving it because, you know, yeah. BDSM. Yeah. And uh, so you're chasing them and what happens is they like actually slide out and, and they, they crash. And you know, it's, it's powered by this man who's running. So you're totally not expecting what happens next. It explodes, like, like a car would explode. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? I was laughing so loud at home, playing this game by myself and just laughing. Mine's a throwback weird moment, I guess. Uh, but one time, one time I was playing Hey You Pikachu, and I bought the, the whole thing. I had the the mic yeah, with a little yeah. yellow bob on it, and I would talk to my Pikachu. I'm like, hey, hey Pikachu, but Pikachu gets upset when you cuss. Okay, so that's that's kind of thing. <laughs> but I'm like, let's play, and he kept getting upset like I cussed. I'm like, let's play. He's like, yeah, Pikachu. 
let's play, let and then that this was the last time I ever played the game because I got so frustrated and I was yelling so loud and the, you know my mom again gets mad at me for being loud that I just went <laughs> and I went over and I grabbed the mic and I snapped it out, <laughs> out of pure anger. That was my weirdest moment because I've never raged so hard like before. I mean, that was before raging was a thing and then I told you rage. Oh. I mean, like for me, um, com being completely immersed in like Assassin's Creed, like I understood more so what it was like to live in those time periods because of playing that game than anything I learned in school about that era. The immersion isn't usually the thing for me with video games. I'm more like a the reason I play them, it's a task to accomplish to like in their schools. It's like almost like an OCD thing, like I want to just try and get everything in the game and, and complete things and completion is to that to that level. I know you are too. Uh, assuming you are too, yeah. Oliver for most games. Like I know you play a lot of RPGs, you probably wanna, you know, go through every story path when there's multiple ones, collect all the items. But yeah, I mean the immersion into the world isn't like such a big thing for me. I, yeah, I play like Skyrim and stuff, but even then it's like one of those people is just skipping through story and all these story writers <laughs> probably hate it. I'm just like, skip, skip. <laughs> just gotta no, there are a lot of gamers out there like that too, so I totally agree with that. Even like the, the old Pokemon games, I remember I had this competition with my friends, Pokemon Diamond came out. I was probably like, Who beat it first? Yeah, I beat the whole game in three days. Just Played, I, played I would never be able to do that. I would be reading the story. Yeah, yeah, I am a story reader. So just like, you know, scrolling through things. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which one are you? Are you a story reader or are you a, a skimmer? Uh, it depends. Like, it depends on the game. If the story is boring, I just want to skip through it and just play. Like play Final Fantasy game. 12 or something. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much for example. Or just play for the story and just like get immersed in the story. Final yeah. Fantasy X or something. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I played Final Fantasy X. Don't remember what the story is about. What? <laughs> so you like the, those games that have a lot of replay value, right? Yeah. Like, such as fighting games and like, like Street Fighter. What do you yeah. think of the new Street Fighter? Good. Probably oh, it's so way better than, yeah, yeah, way better than four. <laughs> I didn't really like it's, four. Four had a lot of characters. But. I think what fighting games say is I don't like it is because they give you like a list of combo moves that you know you could teach other players. It's not you know for people who you know trying to learn the combination, but it kind of defeats the purpose of you actually doing it and learning like through like a book or through like internet like okay do da 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 oh, or yeah, just making yeah. up a combo for you oh it like plops it on the screen for you to yeah, do right yeah. yeah I hate that that's so dumb that make it like you know remember back in the day where there were games that were so hard but you still chose to play them mm -hmm. yeah like uh, kids like of these that. days would never understand that yeah like whatsoever like, what, like Turok <laughs> That was a hard game! What about multiplayer? Who are the weirdest people you've met online playing video games? Like, besides <laughs> me. <laughs> Just to clarify, I didn't like meet you through playing video games. It's not like I messaged you on Call of Duty like, hey, <laughs> let's be friends. <laughs> sick uh, kill to death ratio. Let's meet up at Starbucks. <laughs> that never happened, guys. We met in college and he played video games also. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but there's guy, nothing like, wrong with that. Is there something wrong with that? I don't know, it's kind of predatory to me. It's like, I don't know who you look like. Yeah, but I, so? For sure, if somebody like has 25 a, years old and you're like, if little so, boy. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody had a really dope kill death ratio, that means they have good ethics, work ethic, to become a good gamer, right? Like, Wouldn't you want to meet that person? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they're like in the CIA and that's why they're so good at killing. <laughs> sure. You were like almost as good as they are, so they were seeing if you're also a spy. And <laughs> like, if you are, they're gonna kill you. And I could have shown up and been killed all in one day. Craigslist, video game. <laughs> Craigslist, <laughs> the video game? What? It's like, you post an ad for roses, and it's like, hey, you want you want this uh, table ornament? Uh, that'll be five roses, meet me at Starbucks. And I'm like, where are roses in? That's like code for hand jobs. <laughs> the weirdest person you've ever met online. <laughs> Playing Call of Duty, little kids raging over then then dying, and then if you die for like the first time, they become like you know you suck and all that. Uh, that's about it. That's not how you get teamwork, man. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. 
I understand when it's like, I was playing this guy in Street Fighter and the new one, and the net code right now, uh, release date is like terrible. I'm just lagging like crazy to the point where I just like put my controller down and walked away because my character is just not, I, anytime I press a button, he's just standing there. Mm -hmm. And another guy's like moving and he just disappears and he's like over there. I'm like, oh, this is unplayable. So after I lose the match, clearly, because I put my controller down and left, I get a message from the guy. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> he's like talking all the trash. I was like, I'm not trash. You're trash. Play ranked if you're a real man. <laughs> and he never responded, but I mean, why would you message some? It's so hard to even message someone through PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's place. a hassle. Like, why would you go why through, would you go extra through that? effort just to tell somebody that? I mean, across the microphone when you're playing Call of Duty, yeah. it's so convenient to oh, just yeah. be shouting at people. Well, see, that, that that's where my weirdest person comes from. My weirdest person that I've ever met online because there are a bunch of people like that. A bunch of people that are just like, yo, you know, they just talk trash for no reason. They don't even know who you are, but they hate your mom. You know what I mean? Like, they're just, they're just like that already. So the weirdest person I met was this guy that had the perfect counter to those people. Like, this guy was like the last one alive, and then he was trying to kill him, and then they killed him. Like, ah, you suck, you can't do Because that's like prime time, and he's there by themselves, and then it's on search and destroy, and you kill the last man standing. And then like, you're like, ah, you suck. And the guy just like quietly says, hey, hey. And then like, the guy's name was like, like Chola something though. Like, hey, Chola six, Chola six, hey. And he's like, what, 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 brother? Let me smell your butthole. <laughs> Dude, that's genius. Like, let me just let me just let me smell your butthole, bro. Just let me smell your butthole. You're like, dude, what are you a faggot? Sometimes just let me <laughs> let me smell your butthole, man. <laughs> so uh, I messaged him and said, leave me at the side bro. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Oliver and LJ for being here. Thank you for watching. And tune in next time when I get these guys over for another discussion about different things. Thanks. <laughs>